Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into your new moon energy reading for the month of January. This new moon is going to peak on January 11th, so 111. If that's something that piques your interest, if it resonates for you, I challenge you to look into the meaning of 111. It has to do with new beginnings, new experiences, new opportunities. Now, this new moon is going to peak in the sign of Capricorn. This is an earth sign. So it's going to bring in a lot of earthy energy. What does earthy energy mean? To me, earthy energy is practical. It's things that have substance, that have existence, that matter to us. Um things that are going to change and make or break our lives. A lot of us, it's going to be a perfect time to set goals, to look at what we want to accomplish throughout the year so we can focus our energy with intention. So let's dive right into these new moon energy readings. Now, again, guys, if you find the message is helpful, if it's resonating for you, give it a thumbs up. If you like the vibe, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone is always welcome here. It also helps to set intentions for future messages and for information on rituals, for ritual kits, for personal readings. It's all linked below in the description box. So we're going to dive right into Pisces energy for this upcoming new moon. Let's see what comes out for you in this energy. Most important message here for Pisces, Spirit, what do my Piscean friends need to know? What do they need to see through this upcoming energy? Please and thank you. Three of Swords, Six of Wands, the Star. This is an energy of moving on, of healing from something that's been holding you back for some time. I definitely feel here, Pisces, that there was a person in your life that really wasn't showing up in the proper manner. They weren't, it was like they were there one minute and gone the next. Okay. And this kind of had you on edge, made you feel like you were walking on eggshells. The reason being is because you are competing for their time, attention, and energy between multiple people. Okay? This kept you in a very stuck place. Now, I do feel like you are headed towards your healing, towards your happiness. But I also feel here, Pisces, there is a little bit of questioning whether this is the right decision or not. And... This strength to keep moving forward will only come with time. Now I feel like there's a lot of confusion, a lot of uncertainty in regards to this person. King of Wands is coming out heavily, so this could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It doesn't necessarily have to be. But I definitely feel like your perspective is changing when it comes to this person, when it comes to this relationship. Now, the Page of Wands, the Hanged Man, and the Sun. It's the challenge, okay? Whether you have already walked away from this connection, or for some of you, you're still currently going through this, Trust that this is the right decision. You're making the right decision when it comes to walking away from this. The outcome here, Pisces, is there's going to be more stability, more happiness. But there's also going to be a period of sadness and confusion when walking away from this because I feel like this is a person that you have been dealing with for some time. It's time to let this person go. It's time to let this connection release, OK? 
okay, it's time to release this person. And for those of you that have, trusting you have made the right decision is what's important here. So your advice, guidance moving forward here, Pisces. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. For information on rituals for ritual kits for personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And if you found the message was helpful, if it's resonating for you, give it a thumbs up. Comment below how it was helpful, how it was resonating. You never know how your story could help another person. So Pisces, right now, like I said, you are questioning whether you're making the right decision or had made the right decision when walking away from this person. But here's the thing that I challenge you to ask yourself. If you were to stay with this person and keep allowing this person to come back, do you really honestly perceive that this person is going to change this behavior pattern? And so with that, do you think that this is something that you can live with long term or is this something that it's time to let go of? Right? It's time to let this fall by the wayside. For some of you, this isn't the first time that this happened. Right? So since this is a behavior pattern that you've seen before, understand that it's not changing. Now, why is this all happening? Because there's a new person that's about to come into your life. And if you aren't able to let this person go, this new person that's making an entrance, it's not going to be seen. It's not going to be heard. You're not going to have the same reaction to this person as you would if you were single than if you're intertwined or entangled into this relationship. Because think about it. When you're in a relationship, you're most likely focused on your person. You're not really open to meeting new people when you're in a relationship. You're being guided to be open to new experiences. And that's why this connection is falling away. Trust that Pisces. Let's pull your lighted pathway Oracle message here to sum up your reading. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. For liking, for subscribing, for sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. But stay focused. It's time for solitude and individual working. Be careful if there is interference with your process. Occasionally, ideas and solutions come to your mind when alone and totally into your plan. Respect. There's been much help from people that you received. Be grateful for those, my dear. Give yourself time to heal. The feeling of burnt out leaves you being drained. Just one more little thing is too much. Take a few moments off from the chaos to restore your energy. Beautiful, beautiful. So Pisces, I definitely feel like that's a good solid message. And for some reason, this bottom card is calling my attention. So on the bottom, we have forgive the highest octave of a fulfilled soul is letting go of the ugly pieces of life. Keep giving, keep learning, loving, and forgiving. It's called true love. So Pisces, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. And I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste.